A historic blast of extreme cold swept through the country last February. Denver hit a record low of negative 16 degrees during a stretch of 12 days with below average temperatures. It even hit the deep south, crippling the energy sector in Texas with snow and ice. On January 5th, more than a month before the cold outbreak, something called sudden stratospheric warming was detected high above the North Pole. Occasionally, the stratosphere can warm by nearly 100 degrees in just a few days. It happens about once every two years, and it's often followed by extreme out outbreaks of cold air over the United States. And that obviously is the natural inclination is you want to understand how did these interface? Was there any connection? Atmospheric scientist Nick Davis launched an analysis at the National Center for Atmospheric Research in Boulder to help find the relationship between what happens in the stratosphere and the weather here on Earth. He says waves of energy get sent down towards the Earth during these sudden stratospheric warming events. It was thought that those waves disrupt the polar vortex, a swirling bubble of extremely cold air at the North Pole, and that allows frigid air to spill out over the United States. And then I was very surprised at what the experiments showed, which is not quite the opposite, but close to the opposite. Instead, his simulations using NCAR's supercomputer showed that the energy waves from the stratosphere didn't even reach the polar vortex. So essentially, you still need the stratosphere to sort of feed back on the troposphere and guide that behavior. But in terms of the direct cause of the events, I think our experiments are decisive enough that no, we don't think this was a direct cause of the extreme cold. But his experiments did show that the stratospheric warming was related to the cold outbreaks and identifying the conditions prior to a warming event in the future could help computer models forecast outbreaks more than two weeks ahead of time. And that gives me confidence that we do have the ability to increase our skill at, at longer lead times. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.